We think we know our planet. But hidden below its surface is a dark and mysterious world. For me and for other cave explorers, we look into those black doorways and we see nothing but opportunity. Mountaineers often say that you know, they, they climb mountains because they're there. We go into caves and go cave diving because it's not there. You never know where the end is. The fact that I know there are places on, on this planet that I've been to where actually more people have walked on the moon. The exploration of these caves and the collecting of animals deep into these cave systems has provided a fantastic opportunity for us to do some really exciting new science. The moment your fin tips touch the water and you slide into the water, there is an element of peace, there's an element of calmness, If the dive lasts 10 hours, you have to concentrate for 10 hours. These cave dives are not a few hundred meters in. They could be several kilometers from where you entered the water. The bare housekeeping of things are that uh, the easiest way to deal with, like, a lot of things underwater is wear diapers. <laughs> and we eat underwater, as long as you take little bites, because if you get a little bit too voracious, then uh, it becomes difficult to breathe in between the chewing. <laughs> Swimming into these environments that seem lifeless, just the disruption of the flow of the water um, alerts these animals that Maybe food is nearby and they erupt out of the bottom, out of the silt, and suddenly there's these tiny white spots swimming everywhere around us. Almost all of the animals you find in caves are descended from ancestors that had eyes. But once they colonized the cave and adapted to life in the cave, they lost their eyes because they simply didn't need them. There's no light, they can't see anything, they don't need eyes. The environment itself is, in some places, incredibly fragile. Often the water looks absolutely crystal clear. So the moment you move through this, even if there's any silt or dust, then that will start to lift off the walls, lift away from the floors, and very, very quickly the visibility can go from being absolutely crystal clear to being zero. When something goes wrong, your heart rate soars and, and the blood rushes to your head. What's critically important on a cave dive is that you're able to immediately turn that back down. Tell your body that emotions, you won't serve me right now, and take a deep breath and literally force your heart rate to slow down. Rely on that sense of of a feel of the guidelines sliding through your hands and remembering the cave in your visual recognition as you touch things and feel rocks on your way out. The guidelines that we use in caves are much in the way of, I suppose, a trail of breadcrumbs. Without those, it would be very, very difficult to navigate your way back out. As I'm finishing a cave dive on my way out of the cave, I often will stop at the point where there is the faintest hint of daylight and slowly drift with the flow towards that pinpoint of light. And when I get closer to the doorway, I think that's the most beautiful place anywhere. When your 
floating on the surface of the water, getting ready to climb out, there is, for me, always a sense of enormous satisfaction. It's only by having divers who have been able to penetrate deep into these cave systems that we have discovered these animals and have been able to incorporate them in our understanding of the evolutionary history of life on Earth. The desire to understand more about the natural world drives us deeper underground into the darkness. Future cave explorers and scientists will reach depths we can only imagine, answering questions about our evolutionary past that might surprise us all. <laughs>